What's going on everybody? Isaac here, Civil Engineering Academy. Today we're solving a geotech problem uh, that falls under site characterization under uh, field uh, vein shear. So we want to check this out and talk about it. The question is simple, but it basically says which of the following soil types is a filled vein shear test appropriate to evaluate in situ undrained shear strength for? So if you're solving this, some things that highlight this is a filled vein shear test. You need to know what that is. And then this whole thing that's talking about evaluating an undrained shear strength for. So if we're going to dive into this, I would encourage you to go check this out on your own. Hit pause and solve it or try to solve it. Think about it. Reason it out. You have to use engineering judgment typically or go do some research on this. But let's go ahead and dive into this. So uh, a filled vein shear test is specifically designed to measure the in situ undrained shear strength of soft to medium cohesive soils. So this test is particularly effective in soils where the disturbance during sampling can significantly affect test results. And it's basically this um, thing that's inserted. It's got some veins on it. I don't know if this is really a good drawing here. Maybe not. I don't know what I'm drawing. But basically that thing goes in the ground and it's used uh, to, to test the shear strength of your soil. So let's look at how this would affect um, each of these soil types. So if we were in a sand, the sand is a non-cohesive soil, meaning it doesn't uh, possess a lot of undrained shear strength. So a vein shear test isn't going to be suitable for sands because they rely on soil cohesion to provide resistance with these blades that we have. So I'm going to put an X here. Sand is not a great option. Gravel is also non-cohesive soil, so it's just like sand. It doesn't possess that undrained shear strength, so this isn't going to be good for gravel. A soft clay is a cohesive soil, which means it has significant undrained shear strength, and the vein shear test is highly suitable for this, so I'm going to put a check mark on that one because it can help provide accurate measurements of, of the soil's undrained shear strength in basically the soil as it is in situ, as it sits there undisturbed. Silt uh, can be either cohesive or non-cohesive, depending on its composition and how the moisture content is in it. However, these vein shear tests are usually less common when we use them for silt. So this is kind of an X and a check. It doesn't really give us a clear answer or more information on that. So the best answer here is going to be answer C on this one to help us figure out how we use a, a, a filled vein shear test to appropriate uh, to appropriately evaluate our in situ undrained shear strength for this. So hopefully that was a good explanation for you on this kind of theory question. There's a ton of these on our PE exam. But this one was going to fall under geotech. Hopefully that helped you out and we will see you in another one. Bye.